Um, so there's a lot of very special moments for me tonight. Um, I don't mean to make this about me, this isn't about me at all. Um, but for me personally, I can't tell you how excited I am to share the stage with this next young man. Um, he's one of the first students I started working with. And um, as Anel will tell you, um, working with each student is a little different. Well, what we do is never exactly the same. And, Brandon and I, through years of working together, um, ended up becoming really good friends. Uh, so it's really a great honor um, that I get to introduce my good friend and former student, Brandon McGee. Give it up. Right. 
I was so upset, I just had a death in the family and was struggling emotionally. I knew why I couldn't focus and he treated, like, treated me as if I was not existing. I walked out and dropped out of school because this began too much. I couldn't take it anymore. So I did what was best for me. Two years later, I was living in seclusion from everyone and everything. I had no hope for myself. That's one of the hardest parts you can go through. Thinking you don't have nothing, nothing to look forward to. That's until I realized I wasn't going to get anywhere with my life, with my head being in the clouds. Doing nothing about my predicament was only making things worse for me. So I decided it was time to get myself back into school and begin living again. My case manager at CSDS helped set me up with a meeting with Sue Student Advocacy Center. And that's how Gordon White entered my life. Best man I ever met. He told me that Stuart Advocacy Center helped many troubled young adults like myself complete their education. I was soon entered into the GED preparation classes at Maddox Creek Library, attending two days a week for several months. However, the information I was learning was confusing and became overwhelmed. But I learned from my father that no matter how arduous a task may get, you shouldn't quit. I learned about a new adult high school completion program and Student Advocacy Center helped me get enrolled, which in turn ended up being the best thing that ever happened for me. I learned I only needed 0.5 credits of English to get my high school diploma, and I only needed to attend one for one semester. So what was the physics for? Huh? <laughs> I thought you put me off for that. Only going to have only 0.5 credits. Teacher sitting around the corner over here eating his silkworms and stuff. <laughs> Brandon, you have to do your physics. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, and I don't eat table. I don't eat table ones either. <laughs> Today I could probably say I have finally graduated. If it wasn't for my mentor, Gordon Weitz, my father and family have the faith in me and who encouraged me to strive to be a better person, I wouldn't have made it this far. And my admiration goes out to all the people at Michigan Works and Student Advocacy Center for their support. I would most definitely recommend this program to anyone who is looking for a mentor and career training and education assistance. Most importantly, I thank for my father for never giving up on me who stood by my side through it all good and bad. Even though I had only known them for a few years, special thanks goes to my stepmom and sister for all their love, support, and encouragement. Without all of you, I wouldn't be reading this today. Now I can be a positive role model for others like my nephew. 